May. May coincides with step five. Confession, if you will. Representing integrity after having the courage to face the truth about ourselves in order to move past our negatives and change for the better. Forward progress for what we thought was a no-win proposition. Hopefully, after doing this work, we are feeling a part of society today, no longer feeling separate from. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. A new sense of belonging, May 11th. Until we had talked with complete candor of our conflicts, and had listened to someone else do the same thing, we still didn't belong. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 57. After four years in Alcoholics Anonymous, I was able to discover the freedom from the burden of buried emotions that had caused me so much pain. With the help of AA and extra counseling, the pain was released and I felt a complete sense of belonging and peace. I also felt a joy and a love of God that I had never experienced before. I am in awe of the power of step five. When we reached Alcoholics Anonymous and for the first time in our lives stood among people who seemed to understand, the sense of belonging was tremendously exciting. We thought the isolation problem had been solved, but we soon discovered that while we weren't alone anymore in a social sense, we still suffered many of the old pangs of anxious apartness. Step five was the answer. It was the beginning of true kinship with man and God. This vital step was also the means by which we began to get the feeling that we could be forgiven, no matter what we had thought or done. Often, it was while working on the fifth step with our sponsors that we first felt truly able to forgive others, no matter how deeply we felt they had wronged us. Our moral inventory had persuaded us that all-around forgiveness was desirable. But it was only when we resolutely tackled step five that we inwardly knew we'd be able to receive forgiveness and give it too. We accept ourselves and others, and that enables us to be right-sized, to be humble, no better and no worse than anyone. Having a God at the center of our lives, we are finally able to form real relationships with others, not worrying about being judged or rejected. We are never alone in God's world. The idea of belonging is central to the philosophy of AA. From the very beginning, Bill and Bob recognized that a sense of community and connection is essential to achieving sobriety. The very first principle of AA is that the individual alcoholic must admit are powerless over alcohol and our lives are unmanageable. This admission is made in the presence of others, which begins to create a sense of belonging and commonality among the group. But true belonging goes beyond simply admitting our problems. It requires us to be vulnerable and honest about our deepest fears, hopes, and struggles. This is where step five comes in. It states that we must admit to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. It requires us to take an honest and fearless inventory of our past actions and behaviors and share them. At first, this may seem like an intimidating and overwhelming task. After all, we have spent so much time hiding our true selves from others. How can we possibly expect to share our deepest and darkest secrets with another person? But the key to this step is that it is done in the context of a safe and supportive environment with God in the equation. We are encouraged to share our inventory with a trusted friend who has been through the program and understands the struggles. With this process, we start to feel a sense of belonging. We realize that we are not alone in our struggle and that there are others who have been through similar experiences. 
This sense of connection helps us break down the walls of isolation and shame that have kept us trapped in our alcoholism. Through the process of sharing our inventory with another person, we are forced to confront our past actions and behaviors in a new light. We see now how our addiction has affected not only ourselves, but also those around us. This newfound awareness is a powerful motivator for change. We know from As Bill Sees It, the therapeutic value of one alcoholic working with another is without parallel. The give and take, the sharing of one alcoholic with another, is the very heart of the AA program. This idea of giving and receiving support is essential. We must be willing to share our struggles and listen to others in order to truly become a part of the community. By admitting our wrongs to God, we are acknowledging our need for a higher power in our lives. The surrender to a higher power is central in the philosophy of AA. It requires us to let go of our egos and our need for control and trust something greater than ourselves. A new sense of belonging, May 11th. Until we had talked with complete candor of our conflicts and had listened to someone else do the same thing, we still didn't belong. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 57. After four years in Alcoholics Anonymous, I was able to discover the freedom from the burden of buried emotions that had caused me so much pain. With the help of AA and extra counseling, the pain was released and I felt a complete sense of belonging and peace. I also felt a joy and a love of God that I had never experienced before. I am in awe of the power of Step 5. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.